could never keep me down Oh, you were wrong Cause that was then and this is now Take eight, come on Thank you, welcome to Darlington Race fans, who's going to win it here 200 miles. 200 miles, 147 laps, crown jewel event for the ADPS. Everyone brought their best looking outfits tonight, as they are decked out in throwback cars. It's the throwback race. Oh, there have been plenty of, oh, there have been plenty of throwback races this year. We've had AP, we've had Nashville Fairgrounds, we've had Knoxville, back on Christmas Day. Alan, who's your picks? Oh, I don't know. There's so many good drivers in this field. Oh. It's right, going to well, be a fun one. Kylie Grider, last week's winner. She is on a tear right now. And look Lots of momentum. Streak, where, she's made four, where she's made four of the last five ADPS races. Has one win. And she's looking to back it up and right history. That's the first female driver to go back to back races in ADPS. History. Can she do it? Place your bets now, folks. Here we go. All right, other oh. Up. All right. Next we have. Alan, who's that? Also, speaking of drivers who are looking for a rebound race, Seth Peters. He's been struggling this season, and hopefully tonight he can turn it all around. He really needs that momentum to get a win and hopefully get him further up in the points. Seth Peters already eliminated from championship contention, so he's just going to ride around and just log the laps and just hope for the best and see if he can pull off an upset win. Next up, we got... We got Gavin Grant here, and now this is an interesting one. Look at, watch Gavin Grant. He's gonna hit the wall here, then he's gonna come, he's gonna stay on the wall, comes down, and then he, he, hits, he, then he hits um, Faith McKenzie in the 23 car, he hits the wall. Gavin Grant will start 28th. He's one of our, the 11 drivers still in title contention with just six races to go. After tonight's race, it'll be five races left. Can he come back from the midfield? Well, the good news for Gavin Grant is he will not have to give up that 28th position as he will, as his team got it repaired. E Evan Toddy blew his engine in Talladega last week. He's looking for a massive rebound race. He cannot afford any more slip-ups, especially because he's one of the top four in points. He really needs some more points to continue his bout for a title. Of course, Evan Toddy 
rocking the Paul Menard throwback for tonight's race. So we will shout out a couple of these throwbacks here and there when we can. Here's Ash Ellington. Now, we, now the developing story is that she is going down to part-time, and we found out why recently. She has told everybody that around her that she cannot take another full season of racing. That's very interesting. As we've seen before, she has had some momentum and others bad luck. And speaking of bad luck, she did have bad luck when her engine blew in Talladega on lap number five. Of course, here's our points leader, Nate Wines. He's got a 28 point cushion over Alan Mooch right now coming into this race. Once again, Nate Ooh. Wines rocking the Intimidator man in black car that won at Talladega in 2000, the last win Dale Senior would get before his tragic passing in 2001. Nate really needs to expand that if he wants to win this title. Now, keep in mind, guys, we still have five weeks after this of racing. Alan Who came is the title? Alan Mooch came so close to win the starting on pole position, but he came up just short to Dylan Jones. And he starts second tonight. But, of course, like we said, he's 28 points back of Nate Wines. Can he catch him? He's going to need a lot of momentum today. Starting second, he should be able to do just fine. But you never know from Darlington, the lady in black. The lady in black, the track too tough to tame, track too tough to terminate. Call it what you want. One thing's for certain, it's going to be chaos. Well, that's going to do it for yeah. pre-race. We're going to step aside. And, and we'll command. see you right after this. No, we're going to step aside and get the command to fire up the engines and get this race underway. Drivers, start your engines! 35 it is. cars, Road to Life on Pit Road, and now it's time to go take a look at the starting lineup. Brought to you by the Craftsman Late Model Series. Welcome to a brand new thing! This is going to be one very exciting race. 200 miles, a lot Ace of laps. Peels on the pit road. Here go. Jones, Alan Moon, Out of four. Black, Seth Peters, and the rest of the field to the green flag. They're coming to the restart zone. Get ready to go throwback racing. Green flags in the air and away. We go. We're oh, throwback we're here racing here. in Darlington. The 43 already pulling out to a nice lead on the inside. Oh, Mooch in the wall already. He's got a Darlington strike. First Darlington strike with the line. Oh, look out, contact. Oh, oh they're oh, they the wrecking. No caution. We'll stay green as they roll to the turn three. Yeah. How did that not the bring out a caution? Can... Those ADPS officials must be blind. Off turn number four, Dylan Jones rockets with the lead in front of Simon Black. He leads the lap, lead lap one. There it is. Race caution is out. Not sure what happened. Smoke down the backstretch. Alan Mooch, there you see him. Rolling into turn three. Nothing too major. Simon Black looking to the inside, trying to take the lead away from Dylan Jones. Can he get it before they get across He's the stripe? He's going to lead him to the line. Dylan Jones will lead them across the stripe. He's led the most lap so far at two. We've got smoke on the front stretch. Not sure what happened there. Interesting development. 
as there was also smoke on the back stretch. Hmm. Well, it looks like the back stretch is all yeah, cleared out, but where it was with the smoke on the front stretch. Uh, can, you, what? What do you mean we didn't get a camera team on that? What? What? Are, are you what? serious? What? Oh my god, I just talked to the, to the production team and they said that they did not put a camera on what happened on the front stretch. Cars Why? Cars dug down pit road early, so it looks like we might be in for a war of attrition here. What's gonna happen? It's gonna be interesting to see what happens here. Four laps down, Dylan Jones leads over everybody, and Lindsey Deeds rounds out the top ten. Oh, they're gonna roll into turn one. And we'll get a look at what brought out caution number one. As a driver, when you get a break this early in the action, how do you feel about it? I don't know. It's oh, the four wide almost. And Chris Black pitch in the Marinelli. Oh, this is the front stretch accident. Okay. This is all right. Oh, the 77 sideways. Oh, oh my goodness. He got some air on that head. Ethan O'Connor involved. Lots of them. Okay, Lots of them taking damage. So yeah, three wide early. road. Oh, Lindsey backed out of that four wide. Nearly went four wide. Chris Black, Patrick Roden. And then he just gets turned. He hits the 34. Then he hits the 71. 27, 78 of Colin Dover comes piling in. The 71 being Roberto Crown Jr., by the way. Here's a look at it from the spectator cam. Not really going to get a good look at this, but I think the 77 tried to come down, but the 40 was just there. And it was just bad timing. Roberto hits him, then Ethan O'Connor, and then Colin Dover just comes flying into the into the back of, of Marinelli. Or was it the side? It must have been the side. On there's the hit. There's the spin. Oh, wow. He's, he's in so oh, that. Yeah, he would not. Yeah, he saw that too. Wait. And then the oh, oh. flying in. Those eyes right there. Hitting the twice. Yeah, that is a new one. Three wide. Lindsay needs thought about making a four wide. Backed out of it very wisely. And then it was just on from there. Oh. Yeah, that is possible to see. Here comes through and SRX race season, but we've also been working on SRX the game. Westwick. This is SRX the game.
turn, a twist. For every start, an untimely finish. For every win, someone who loses it. For every number, a nation. For every celebration, a brawl. For every split second, years of work. For every heaven, a hell. For every good old boy, a good old girl. For every curse, a prayer. For every ounce of order, a jug of chaos. For every twist, there's a turn. But Welcome you back to the Arca Dr. Pepper 2 here on the Competition Racing Network. Alan Gonson alongside Jack Black here in the booth. It's Darlington. Early yeah. caution. Yeah, Darlington Most early of caution. Are not expected. So pace car lights are going to go off here. Now as a driver, early restart. What's going through your mind right now? You don't know what the next strategy call is going to be. Before the race, you can plan, you can do all of that, but once the race starts, you have to expect the unexpected. Early cautions, always keep that in the back of your head. Dylan Jones leads over. Simon Black, Brandon Brzozowski, Seth Peters, Tristan Beasel, Justin Ricci, Dylan Cleesby, Nate Wines, Ian Stiles, and the 05 of Ryan Smith. ADP that... officials are going to be keeping a close eye on Ian Stiles tonight. After his, after barely meeting minimum pace at Talladega, they're going to be keeping That's... an eye on him for the next two races. And if he does any of that again, oh, I, he's going to an elite. I believe it'll be a one race suspension since there aren't that many races left. You don't know though. Here we come through three and four. Pace car is going to take the hard left pace turn to car. the road. Dylan Jones will lead Simon oh. Black, Brandon Brzozowski, and the rest of the field back to the green flag. Rocking Coming to the restart USA. zone. High Dylan Jones, green flag, back, flag. Back, back in the air, air. racing in Darlington. Simon Black, early look here on this restart. Gets to the back it's not going to amount to anything. These guys are already riding the high line. There goes Dylan Jones. Through one and two down the back. Who's going to lead into three and four? Dylan Jones has the lead through three and four. Racing their way into turn number three. Seth Peters climbing up the racetrack. He's going to the high line, right near the wall. Off turn number four. Dylan Jones leads lap seven. Battle for third. Right in the Larson line. Oh, Dylan Jones. Through one. Right in the Larson line through one and two and three and four. It's not really the best option here as a driver. You don't want to take an at an. You go ahead. Okay, well, here they come rolling through turns three and four. Brandon Brzozowski, Tristan Beasel climbing upstairs. Here comes Dylan Jones in that Daytona USA Hornet High Class manual transmission car. And he's got the lead after eight laps of racing. We're nine down. We're nine laps into. On, no, nine laps on the board. Eight laps down in this 147 lap event. Riding the Larson line is not something you want to do early. Down the back, and into three and four. Dylan Jones maintaining the lead. Simon Black looks the inside, gets back in the line behind Dylan Jones. Dylan Jones leads lap nine. He's led every lap we've run so far. Simon Black and Dylan Jones looking dominant here. Who's going to lead out of two, three, and four? I don't think Peters is going to get to him here out of four. Brzozowski at the position. Dylan Jones is going to have a lot to do now with that car. After a long Darlington stripe through one and two, that is not something you want to have early in this race. Yeah, they are rolling down the front stretch, completing lap 11. Simon Black, your official leader now. That's two points for Simon Black. 
Justin Beasel trying to climb up for the ranks. He's up to third. And he'll be going after Dylan Jones for second. How long is Dylan Jones going to hang on after having that long ride on the wall through one and two? Yeah, in the back, Seth Peters rushed the wall. You can see it while we were talking about Dylan Jones, and he's side by side with Justin Ricci, who's in the automatic transmission. Born in high class ball from Daytona, USA. Nope, never mind. Ricci is now side by side with Queensby. Ricci seeming to be dropping like a rock here. A lot of positions gone. Simon Black is really fast out of four. Lap 13 on the board. Dylan Jones at the opening 10. One car coming to pit road. I'm not sure who that is, but it looks like they were coming in for a stop, and they're off pit road and back on the track. Can we get a camera on that car? The answer is no, we will not, because Simon Black is about eight-tenths of a second ahead of Dylan Jones. There you see the 43 car rolling into turn number three as Tristan Beasel's battling with everyone else. Car on the wall, it looks like Seth Peters on the high side. And this is a long race. You don't want damage early, especially from that wall, because that wall is very abrasive on the tires, and so is the track. All right, here and we come down the back stretch, rolling to turn three. Lots of good racing behind our top two. Battle for third, shaping up between Peters and Beasel as we follow around Dylan Jones. On board with Dylan Jones in the 43 car. That car sounds. And oh, and he's up into the wall again. The Long. Wall again. That's the second drop in his stripe he's got. Contact. Oh! Contact. Contact! We need a camera on Dylan Jones to see where he's at on track. Seth Peters now looking on second. He's going to take a peek. Won't get to him. Cannot catch the 81. Seth Peters rocking the 1984. Neil Bonnet, Budweiser throwback car. We really love Seth Peters' car. One of the best in the show. Yes, it is. And Dr. So nice Black's nice lead has car. grown yeah, to about yeah, nine tenths of a second now. Just That 43 has a lot of damage. Oh, the 81 is in the wall. And Seth Peters is going to go to second. If he can clear him, it's another story. He will. Jones is going to try and follow. They nearly make contact. The 43 Dylan Jones has to check up here. Going down the front straightaway, here's an, uh, an aerial cam. Following around on the helicopter cam, five. The 81 looks like he's in the wall. How long will these cars withstand, especially taking that much damage from the wall? It's About a second and a half lead for Simon Black. I was about to talk about Ian Stiles over here. Ian Stiles, in, 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 in post-race media coverage of Talladega, said, Super Speedways aren't my strong suit, and once I lost the draft, I was screwed. So, I'm not surprised the ADPS is looking at me, but hey... If they want to keep their eyes on me, they're going to have to watch because I'm going to do good stuff. At that 81 time. is dropping again. I'm guessing he got up into the wall. And there's another car up into the wall as well. And that's going to let Ian, and that's going to let Seth Peters drive away from second in second. But he's got a 1.73 second gap to, get, to make up on Simon Black. The cars that are getting into the wall are obviously going to be caught by the other guys behind them. And Kylie Griner fell out of the top 10. She's back. That is impressive for Kylie. She's had a lot of ups and downs through her career. Now, will she be able to top it off with a crown jewel win? Dylan Jones has cleared for the 
Lots of cars getting Darlington stripes early. That that might be signs of a lot of spins to come. Seth Peters into the wall hard. That's going to be a long Darlington stripe for him. How much longer will that car be able to hang on? Look at Dylan Jones. Huge run for second. And look at Simon Black. Two seconds. Simon Black really pulling away from the field. The rest of the field will definitely need a caution here to catch him, or at least some point soon. Oh, car hard into the wall! It was! Oh, it looked like the 81 got into the wall. And there's another in the back of the camera there. In the oh, yeah, wall. not sure who that was uh, there, but he and Styles and that Kevin Hart 2001 debut steam throwback. He's going around Seth Peters on the inside. I saw a Bobby Labonte scheme there from the, for, from the 47. That's a really good car. Point four three second lead for Simon Black as he brushes up against the wall. It it looks like he's doing that as that lead has shrunk about three point four five seconds or tenths of a second. He's catching him slowly. Dylan Jones trying to catch Simon Black here for the lead, but he's still got two point four three seconds to make up. It's down to two point four seconds. So he, he so he trimmed off three one hundredths of a second. That forty three car looks fast, even with that wall damage. Ian Styles. Let's see what Ian Styles can do. Is he going to go low? The answer is no. He does not go low. He's going to stay behind. He, now he's looking. He's he looking. Doesn't, he's going. Now he he's goes. looking low. Side side is Ian Styles going to pass the forty three? Is he's going to get there? He's on the inside. He's on the inside. Dylan Jones near the wall. That's Oh, and he's brushed it. He brushed the wall, and Ian Styles will take advantage, and he goes to second. He's not clear, though. He's not clear, not yet. Not quite clear, but Simon Black, he loves to see that. That lead was chopped to about 2.3 seconds. Simon Black into the wall. And one and two. That's another darling construct car. And that lead is going to get cut again. Now, it's about 2.6, but it's going to drop again. I challenge you to a duel. A duel of the HS. Plato Mini Golf? Yes. Gentlemen. They touch again, they exchange paint. These two want it so bad. But I bet you won't see this one coming. Oh!
Hey, hey, you there. Yes, yes, you, you. Do you like having clean and proper teeth? <coughs> no. Do you want to be as cool as Ryan Newman? Yes. Then you should try cocaine. I mean Coca-Cola. This wonderful beverage has so much sugar in it that your teeth will literally die when they see it. L yes, literally die. Why eat all these sugar cubes when you can also drink one Coca-Cola and have the same effect? Yes, burn your teeth, kill them today with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, choking is probably the most humane way you can die from our products. <coughs> the year is 2007, times are great, the crowd is wild, COVID is non-existent and we're vibing. <laughs> What's COVID? That yeah, yeah, I don't know, I was just about to ask you, why, where did that word come from? I will say, the field is honestly doing really oh. solid right now, why is I yeah, say that? Don't, don't you jinx think? it now, Tyler Skoza, <laughs> don't jinx it's it! It's trying to go! Oh, and there's Ron Young again. I can feel my insides riding on fire! Hot tamales! Get it now! Welcome I can't. back to the Arca Dr. Pepper Series NASCAR Amino Southern 200 here on the Competition Racing Network. Alan Gauntz and Jack Black here in the booth with you as we watch Ian Stiles try to chase down his rival, Simon Black, for the lead. And it's happening. While we were away, Ian Stiles has eaten into that lead. And look who's in third. It's KR. That's game giving him bad luck. I don't see it tonight. And now that I said it, the commentator's curse is going to kick in at some point during this broadcast. <laughs> KR, my sincere apologies. Ian Styles is on Caution's out again for the second time Caution tonight. Comes out. Caution's out second time tonight. They slow it back down. And what a tough break. And there's smoke on the backstretch. Oh, heavy Lots smoke, smoke on, on the backstretch. backstretch. That's on. That's on. That's actually the same spot where we saw the lap one wreck that didn't bring out a caution. Interesting development. That is a lot of heavy smoke, and whoever's in it, I hope they're okay. Yeah, oh. I hope they're okay too. Also, an update: the ADPS officials um, have issued a warning to the number nine driver to knock that stuff off and start racing, not wrecking. Oh, and something also, happened. Also, fine. Oh, a lot of drivers going down pit road. Simon Black's going to stay out. So apparently, that incident involved a number nine. We didn't get, or we didn't see it on the broadcast. Did we at least get a camera on it? I wish we did. I bet you wasn't. Ah, uh, that's not going to be good. No, that's not going to be good at all. I would like to see a replay of it. Same here. That that was a lot of heavy smoke on the backstretch. We and we both want to know the cause of what happened there. Yeah, what I believe happened is okay. Well, here's what happened. It was, Ryan Smith was in the wall, and then he comes down, and he's about to go around, and he goes into Chris Black. They both hit the oh. wall. Oh wow! So that I was a lot to unpack. Three wide at Darlington does not work. Watch again. Ryan Smith in the ball. He comes down into Max Real. And Dontavious was just there. Ooh, Alan Mooch uh -oh. threw the needle there a little bit. All those cars look like they hit the wall at some point in that wreck. And either that or got hit By a decent driver, amount. Yeah. Well, here's a look at it from our spectator cam. Ryan Smith comes down, and mm, it's just on from there. Look out. That orange car there, he, he double slapped that wall. That, that is a harsh impact. Of Chris Black on board with the nine of that is a harsh impact for the for drivers especially. Oh, he didn't even hit Max. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, you can, see, you can see. You can see the forty-eight. He double slapped the wall, which he hit it with the back and the front end. You don't want to have that impact with the wall. You don't want to hit the wall, especially as a driver. But you don't want to have that impact, definitely, because that is a hard hit. Because it. You, you finish up. Because when you hit the back end on the wall, it usually speeds up the front, and that is really where the majority of the driver is. That is a hard impact for the forty-eight. But still, okay, we're going to go back green because we don't want commercial breaks. While we were away, Simon Black, while we were watching the replays, apparently Simon Black went down pit road. Who's leading now? And it's going to be the 99 of Demo Redneck leading the way in his Charlie Glotchbach throwback. He'll be chased down by Kylie Greider. Lindsey Deeds. I go. had to think about that. James Omaki, Nate Wines, Evan Toddy. A lot of championship contenders here now. PQ guy in the 34. He's eighth. Ninth goes to Ash Ellington. And Max Morial rounds up the top 10. There's a lot of championship contenders. Who's going to have the most luck of the draw today? And two apparently, we saw two cars go a lap down two cars as well. Lap down. That's, Eth that's, Evan that's Ethan O'Connor in the 27 car. And. The 95 car of Jackson Traeger. Traeger replacing Nick Nelson over at Cyberstorm Racing. As they come down the backstretch before we get back racing, how are these lap cars going to impact this race at Darlington, Alan? Uh, well, here's the thing. We know what, what Darlington can do to tires and equipment. We don't know if the drivers are actually racing each other or if they're actually trying to race the racetrack. Pace car ducks down to pit road. Let's see if Demo Redneck can get away from Kylie Kreider. And those lap restart cars zone. out of four and coming to the restart the zone. Green flag is in the air, racing again in Darlington. Here they come to turn number one. Nose to tail, the top two clear the lap cars with these. Lindsay Deeds won at New Hampshire, but that was under her alias of Dustin. Trying to fit it with the boys, well then she decided that she was going to be herself. And now look where she's running, up in third. Two females in the top three. That is very impressive and very pioneering of these drivers. And that is huge for this sport and huge for these drivers. Lots and lots. Oh, that's going to have a lot of impact on the rest of the field. That really has... Everyone else seems to be trying to get around him. Top three, top four, go nose to tail, so it's a four-car battle for the lead. You can practically throw a blanket over them all. Lindsay to the inside of Kylie. Lindsay Deets, is she going to get there? Lindsay Deets goes to the inside. Kylie stays outside. She's there on the inside. Will she clear? And she, she will. Cleared. Lindsay Deets, nope, she's not, not clear yet. They're still side what? by side. I know you want to see that. Devil Rednick, who is Lindsay's teammate. Here they come off turn number four, still side by side for a second. On board with Omaki in the 88 car as he watches his driver battle with Lindsay Deeds of Wines Racing. Kylie way near the wall, that's Kylie. looking way too dangerous. Too close for my liking. Kylie, clear again. Lindsay will come back up in front of that M&M's car. Demo oh, Redneck, Redneck trying to get the Yeah. And Kylie Griner's closing up. Here comes Lindsay D. She's caught him again. Three car battle for the lead down the back stretch. Let's see how close these guys get to the wall. Kylie going oh, outside. Kylie up the track a little bit. That'll allow Lindsay to get there. Lindsay needs to the inside side by side for a second. Once again, as we're back on the board with Omaki. And now we go to a helicopter camp because why not? 
Demo Redneck is really close to that wall. He's really running the Larson line. You don't want to... You really wouldn't want to do that in these cars, especially early in this race. By the way, um, we, this race, is, we are, we are, I actually got word that we're airing the night before the Super Bowl, so I have two things to say. One, kitty goes meow. If you get that reference, then cool, good on you. Two, ram it. Just ram it. Oh, ram demo it. in the wall. Oh, Kylie Grider in for the lead. Grider now to the lead. Lindsay in second. James Omaki in third. How is this top three going to work? Lindsay trying to get clean air from the back of, looking out from the back of Kylie. How, how much will that clean air affect these race cars, especially at a track like Darlington? That is not gonna be good for that team, as I've heard, and I'm in a quite a few of these race teams driving like that holding up your teammate is not the way to go if you want to secure a ride next year Look at how close these drivers are getting to the wall. It's not as close as you can get without actually touching, but it's close enough to the point where if you get tight just a little bit, you will have a hard time getting off that wall. Ash is a long way from a win, but we still have over, or we have about 90 to go. Oh, look at Lindsay Deets to the inside of Grider now. It won't work. Deets not going to be able to get there off that run. And Greider, Kylie Greider into the wall. That's not going to work out. Redneck. Oh. Demo Redneck. Still up. Demo Redneck still holding up his teammate there. That is not. That is not going to favor well. Well, Lindsay Gates looks back to the inside. Kylie Greider's hit the wall again. Lindsay's not cannot count right now. She gets back in line. And Nate Wise has finally cleared Demo Redneck. Let's see if Ash Ellington can clear him. Oh, PQ looking for third now. PQ guy looking for fourth. Oh, yeah, he is looking for third. Wow, I'm staying corrected. He's got third for now, but can he clear Omaki? Wow, he did so in with flying yeah. killers. High margin. He's maybe Those looking for sports. second. Is Ingles no can get there. He's 30 back 30 in the front. I think what's gonna. I think they're the R and D team is gonna have to look and see if that twenty four car is doing anything they shouldn't, or if there's oh that you might looking to the inside of Lindsay. He's not gonna be able to get there. Lindsay needs holding on to second right now as they are chasing down Kylie Grider here on lap fifty five. Looking at this top three, this is a very diverse group of drivers ahead of Omaki here. You got the oldest. Not quite. Tied by side back. Right now. In that hair he can't throw back. Going back to the stole bandit. Lindsay needs to get back to 
Lynn needs to get up. It's not going to happen. PQ now for second. Up the, tr up the track a little bit. Lindsay needs to get up in front of PQ here. I wouldn't be very happy either. Coming from a current team owner and going into a different team for Ghost Motorsports in a different series, this is not going to be very well formed. Oh, great, her into the wall again! Oh, is Lindsay, he's gonna close up, is it going to work? He's going to leave! PQ Kai has fallen back to fourth from James Omaki. Omaki now looking for second on Grider. And guess who's caught? Mr. PQ Guy. You guessed it. It's the 21 and 8 wines. He's on the inside, keeping PQ Guy on the outside. And oh, meanwhile, this battle for a second heats up between our top between two of our drivers in the top three. And Lindsay Nates continues to check out. Once again, she once again, Lindsay Deeds under the alias of Dustin Deeds won at New Hampshire back in race nine, and since then she has not been able to win a race. Lindsay needs this momentum. And going into one, she's gonna have a lead. And she's gonna of her friend Kylie Grider. And Lindsay is leading by about half a second now. Back around Nate Wines. No, he's holding on to fourth, actually. I'm surprised. I thought he fell out of fifth and, and then he took fourth back. Six and five, how five, well are these tires the holding up right now for some of these cars? Was that the caution flag I just saw? Yes, it was. Third caution of the night. Caution comes out. Oh, Who was it for? Did we get a cam? Yeah, oh, we're, oh. oh, we're going to get replays, all right. Where is the smoke? On the backstretch, again. Oh. Backstretch. Coming off of turn two. Man, that seems like a Light smoke. Spot. Light smoke there mm. down the back. Unless it originated when the leaders were on the front stretch and was only a single car spin. Interesting. It might have... It might... I don't know. That That's... <laughs> ooh, that's tough. But still, Lindsay D... We don't know what's happening <laughs> there. That's a very weird spot. Cautions out here at Darlington, and but it's happened three times before. These guys, they need a lot of... Or they need new tires. They've been out there almost all day on the same set of tires. That was a really long green flag run there, too. Yeah. One of the longest I've ever seen in my career as a driver. So let's see what brings out caution number three. Why don't we Mr. Jack Black? Yep. To the replays. All right, so it was Dylan Cleese me in the wall. And then Yeager tries to make it and then, pass. Oh! oh! Lazy spin. Oh! He's able to correct it. Ooh, oh! What is it by Beasel? Sliding down to the inside and keeping it off the wall. Right, he again. saved it. Watching again. Here's Cleese coming down on Yeager. No, Yeager also came up. Who spun, um, Mr. Who spun Mr. Beasel? Ooh, that's gonna be I couldn't one. see. We, I don't get a good enough view of that. Well, here's a, here's a look at it from our spectator cam. Oh, there were Cleese. two spins. Oh, it was Evan Toddy and, and Beasel making contact. Beasel comes down and then he saves it. That was an incredible safe Oh. And then there's the hit. Gets it off the wall. And you can't see the spin. You can't see the spin because of the smoke. And that is something very dangerous in this sport. Because usually you see everything. Contact 
Streets of Satan. We're going to set aside for a break and come right back. You, you want to get fit and play games at the same time, you big ding dong? Well, boy, do I got something for you. Who are we sports? In this epic game of fitness, you can get fit! Look at him playing that good job there, Bob! Look, it's time for baseball! Oh, he missed! Holy! Golf! Now, time for boxing! Remember to plug in the nunchuck! We sports get it now. Oh, God. Oh, this is some hot Tuscan chicken pasta. I need something to drink. Oh, my God. Look at this. Pause though, it's backwards because it's an inner camera. We have terrible funding for this commercial, that's besides the point. Oh, I don't know how this got here. But man, giant beef. You know what, I think that's pretty good. I think I just wanna. I sure am tired. If only I had a... Oh, hey, how convenient. A nice, crisp, open Coca-Cola energy drink. Wow, what a refreshing beverage with a nice burst of cherry flavor on top of the usual Coca-Cola flavor that everyone loves. Wow, that is such a tasty beverage. Man, but I don't sense any of the energy. Dr. Pepper Series, Alan Gonson, joined by Jack Black in the booth for the NASCAR Mino Southern 200. This about mid-race caution really will change the impact on a lot of these cars and a lot of these drivers' minds. Because these drivers are like, I, we need to get this race over with and fast. And wow. Starlington, one to go until green on the while, restart. While we were away... Yes, um, Lindsey Deeds did lead the top five onto pit road, so we have a new leader. It's Big G, Gene Carly Urinda. He's looking right away. It's Gene Carly Urinda, I believe. But still, he's looking right in that old four. Jason Leffler throwback. And we have two, we still have two cars on that have been lapped as they come down the back stretch before we go racing here. Once again, those lapped cars are Jackson Traeger in the 95 and Ethan O'Connor in the 27 car. So, Big G is going to have to lead KR in that 47 car. Having ran that 56, Roberto Crown, the only car not sporting a throwback tonight. Back to the green flag. Pace car is going to make the hard left to the Pace car. Or makes the hard left on a pit oh, road. Here we go. At the restart. The 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 Flagman waving his hand. And green flag, back in, green the flag air. back in the air at Darlington. Big G gets a great jump on the 95. They head to turn one. Is KR going to clear the 95 as well? Side by side with Jackson Trigger. That is not for position, by the way. Roberto Crown. 
This is the one of the first restarts where his second place has actually had trouble getting past the lap car right on the restart. He's not there. Oh, looking to the inside. Hey, R. Okay, look at Oh, darling stripe on someone got a Darlington stripe on the back right there. What else is new? Alright, Carlo Yorenda. Oh, caution not again. Yellow. Again. As quickly as we got back under the green flag, caution's out for the fourth time tonight. Let's see what happened. Alright, well, big. Oh, there's smoke on the back stretch. Oh, smoke on the back. Lots of smoke That's on the back stretch. Heavy smoke. The back stretch is seeming to be a popular place to crash. Lots of skid marks as well. That can only mean lots of cars were collected. Maybe a multi car pileup. Probably at minimum two, at most. Who knows? Big G continues to look right out in front. Big G looking red, man. Pace car will pick up the field. All right, that, the hell, that happens as they come out of four. Let's go to the replay. We now have 80 laps to go when we get across the stripe. As Big G will lead. Yes. Let's 80 to go. Board. 80 laps remain. To the replays. All right. They're going to roll into turn one. We're going to let the crew chiefs figure out all that stuff while we go watch replays. Joke's on them. All right. Anytime now. Uh, replays. Can the production team get to the replays, please? Uh, I believe we're going... Yep, here we, here we go. Okay, so it's Marinelli again. He's in the wall. And he hits the wall again. In the wall the again. Oh. Back into the wall. He hits the 23 of McKenzie. Oh! Marinelli already had Hard to the first caution, and he's gonna get again in the fourth. Also, I thought it was the 48. No, it was the 23. My bad, everybody. That was. I think the 48 was involved somehow. Okay, Marinelli's in the wall. Watch the 48 the... car. Makes contact. With yeah, he was. Both yeah. the orange. Yeah, he hit both the orange. Oh, hard hit as Omaki comes flying in. Wrong. Place, Omaki wrong had time. a huge hit. Oh, what a shame. Omaki had a top 10 run going. That is not a hit we want to see. No, we do not. But Marinelli is okay, and he will be able to keep going. What a trooper he is. Okay, here's the hit in the wall. Hits both the orange cars there. Into the wall again. Hits the 23, and then the 88. Bad play. Bad timing. Into the side of the 77. Hard hit for James Omaki. Glad he's all right. And also a hard hit for Caleb Marinelli. Omaki took his hard hit road on board with the 88 of Omaki. Watch the 77. Oh, the 44 also got tipped a little bit. And oh, look out, look out! Oh, hard oh, hit. He was driving into the smoke. As we've stated time and time again, once you're in the smoke, you're in trouble. And once you're in the smoke, it is impossible to see through it because of how thick that smoke is. It's not a good thing. Yeah. Once you see it we'll in see. your windshield, and when you see smoke in your windshield yeah, from afar, you know they've wrecked already, and it's impossible for the caution not to come out unless the officials are blind, like they were earlier in this race. Talk like lap one earlier. Caution four is out. Looks like Omaki didn't suffer too much damage, though. So one last look at it as Aaron Ellie hit the wall, smacks the wall again, hits both the orange cars of the 48 and 23, hits the 23 again. 23 goes for a spin, 77 goes Bam, for a spin. the wall. Marinelli had a big <laughs> hit. Got airtime. Yeah, he did get some airtime. And we're getting word. We're going to go right back to the green. We're going to go right back to the action. So, cool stuff. Let's do it. All right. J big G decided to stay out with KR, but Gavin Grant is behind the 95. But, of course, that is before we get to the one to go signal. Less than 80 laps now. We are on Here lap we go. 69. Nice. Oh, no, we're going to completely lose 70. 69 laps on the board. And we now have One to go. Until to go. Ethan O'Connor might have pulled it in for the night. Not sure, because I don't see him on the inside line. 
I don't see him there either, Alan. He could have pulled it in saying, you know what? We are done. We are not going to get a lap back. Ethan O'Connor will barely stay inside the top 20. Oh, there's the Oh, he's there. Car. He's there. What a trooper the 27 driver is. We thought he was done. No, he decides he's going to soldier on and get the night over with. 77 to go. When we go back to the green flag, we have 78 remaining in the NASCAR Amino Southern 200. And look at who's in fifth. Star Racer in three of the last four races. He finished inside the top ten. In the three. There you go. Pace car is going to duck back onto pit road. It's going to be BT, the KR, Gavin Grant, yep. Roberto Crown Jr., and Star Racer, your top five. Ian Styles in six. Simon Black, well, we haven't seen since he made his pit road since we called his pit since we called that he was on pit road earlier in the race. Green flag right. back in the air. Green flag is in the air in Darlington. They roll back to turn one. And this time, Big G is not going to be able to clear right away. He'll get First time, the leader has struggled to clear a lapper. All right, there's Still stuck by side. side. Nope. And this time, Carl's going to quit. He'll start dropping back. It won't happen this time. Out of court, Gian will be flat. Big G continues to lead the lap. Gian, Carly, Arunda, KR from the Netherlands. Oh, Big G's in the wall. Is KR going to capitalize? He's there. Not going to happen. Not going to happen this time. Star Racer getting held up by Ethan O'Connor. Star Racer. Yeah, and Star Racer's radio is definitely frustrated telling the ADPS officials to park the 80, to park the 27 car. Meanwhile, out in front. Dean. Oh. And now we're on board with Jackson Trigger. The left bar is he's got a good view of the lead battle. And it's ranked four. Okay. Two. Oh, they are looking. He's looking, but he can't make it sink. This time he goes to the inside. Side by side, for the lead down the back stretch. KR's got it. That has to make you wonder did Ian hit the wall at some point down the back? New leader in Darlington is KR. As he is well in front of Big G. And Big G's the KR leads. He did get the car that brushed the wall in the back. Not sure who it was, but Star Racer's here. Meanwhile, it looks like Styles. It looks like Ian Styles brushed the wall a little bit. Well, meanwhile, here's here's Jackson Traeger holding up our everyone from third on back, so our top two can continue to battle for the lead by themselves. I'd I'd imagine. I'd imagine that. Oh. Jin got into the wall a little bit, and I'd have to imagine the radios when the car is getting held up by Jackson are like, park him now. Get him out of the way. ADPS officials going to be watching the 27 and 95 very closely, getting their eyes off the 86 for a while. So Ian Styles must Both. be breathing a sigh of relief there, but it's not him tonight. Both lap cars are being watched now by the ADPS officials. And as that unfolds, but Big G has got a big hole of problems, and it's a 1.45 second lead for KR. People now trying to move him out of the way themselves, as the 70s inside. The flag uh, great. The 95. If you guys are wondering what the courtesy flag is, it's a blue flag with a yellow diagonal stripe telling lap cars to get out of the way. Here they go, rolling into turn three. KR up to a one and a half second lead over Big G. Ever since KR moved to the U.S. to enter American stock car racing, 
The whole eight, the whole arc of Dr. Pepper series has been one topsy-turvy ride. I'm not saying there's connections, but there might be connections. KR dominating and leading by a lot. 1.8 seconds now to G Big G. Down my back. Gene, Carly, Arenda, and Roberto Crown Jr. has finally cleared the 95. Let's see if Star Racer can do the same. Max Morel going upstairs. Trying, maybe he'll let his boss go by, but no, to no avail. He's Star trying to get past result. Jackson Traeger. It's, he's not there yet. Jackson he's going to be there on the inside. No. Traeger in the wall. Jackson Traeger, Traeger into the wall hard. Jackson Traeger from the U.S. from Canada. Not bad, eh? Oh, Moochin in the wall. You oh. You the back of the screen. And now got we two got, cards we got back for Traeger fourth. there. No, that's, actually, that might be a battle for third. Where's Roberto? No sign of Roberto. That was the battle for fourth. Okay, looks like it will stand. Lap 81, so we are about 67 laps away from the checkered flag. 67 battle for go, 66 going back across the stripe. KR continues to lead on, on, NAS, on the Arca Dr. Pepper series. NASCAR Amino Southern 200. Back to turn one they go. Lap 82 on the board. 81 laps There's down. In, now we can see Gian and who's in second. Roberto in third. So battle for fourth. Car now Star trying to... And Gavin Grant, Star Racer's got the spot. And Gavin Grant probably wants it back. He's going to the outside. He's climbing up the racetrack. Meanwhile, Tristan Beasel sits in six, watching the top five run their own stuff. Tristan Beasel. Right I'd say I'd his... want to save my stuff for the last 30 or so laps because that is when I start again. to make my run. And that's going to be letting everybody on the inside line go right by him. Oh, he holds up Dylan Jones there. And as I was saying a few seconds ago, I'd want to save my stuff for the final 30 or so laps of this race because I can make a run on semi-old tires. I can make it work, but I just don't know how long I can make it work. Well, so I'd give up a decent time period. Traeger back in the wall. Everybody's going to go try and go by him on the inside line. Contact between oh, the we got a car in the wall. It's Traeger. No, Mooch is also pass. Breaker. Top three, nose to tail. Nope, that's the top. That's everyone from second to fourth. As KR's up to a two and a half second lead right now. And in cruise control. KR can... KR having his best Stop. run since... He doesn't need to worry yet. Again, I ask, what bad luck is this car bringing KR? Now watch the commentator's curse strike even harder. I, my sincere apologies to Throwback Motorsports in their 47 team. Battle for a second unfolding between Roberto Crown Jr. and Big G. Roberto Crown Jr. had a really great night in Kansas a few way back in January. KR can start saving his stuff. He doesn't need to worry. 2.86 yeah. second lead for the 47 as this three car battle for second heats up. Never mind, caution's out fifth time tonight. Oh, and you KR, gotta be kidding me. And KR's probably thinking, lucky break for us, and everyone else is just breathing a sigh of relief because now that erases the big lead that KR had. This is a big break for everyone who and it's pitted. Once again, his, guess where? Oh, our lots of smoke down the back. Yes, it's back in our personal favorite spot, the backstretch. It seems like every caution that we've had has originated down the back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, KR. Now his now the 47 team's gotta strategize. What are they gonna do? Because pit road's gonna be open next this time by Big G's gonna send bring everybody on the pit road, I guess. Except for KR who stays out. Oh, that was a bad move from KR. Everyone else is gonna have tires. A tires and a fuel advantage over that number 47. But maybe the 47 is trying to save the amount of tires he has for the end of this race. 88 laps on the board. As we have 
cleared 87 laps in this race. Down to the final 60. I can tell you this. Darlington, it's an entertaining track. And as we get closer to the end of it, it'll get even more entertaining as the day goes on. KR staying out with the two lapped cars of the 95 and 27. Let's see what happens. All right, watching Ian Styles and Leland Fife here. Ian will slap the wall, and oh, Leland oh. tries to turn him, and he winds up turning himself. Solo car spin, and what went on in front that brought out this caution? Nope, that's just it. That's it. Okay, whatever. Okay, so Ian Styles hits the wall, comes down into Leland, and then Leland tries to turn Ian, and well, he gets he just turns himself. I will say though, that was a pretty decent hit. For, for Leland that, Fife, yeah. In the 38. Leland Fife, two wins at Atlanta and Watkins Glen. That was a hard hit into the outside wall. On board with Devin Redneck, Leland Fife's teammate. There's Ian Sons into the wall. It's Leland. Look at Ooh, Oh, turned by that his was own a teammate. Hit. Teammate, those are teammates. Oh, the meeting on Monday is going to be very interesting. Just looking at him for a helicopter cam. Leland Fife rocking the Elliot Castro. That that did not look like a hit that any driver would ever want to take there. You can see it pop up on the right side. Alright, we're gonna step aside for a break, come right back with some more action here on the competition. Man. Doing all this work. Very thirst provoking. If only I had a beverage. Man, if only I had a beverage. Oh, yeah, epic. Here you go. Here's a nice, refreshing Pepsi. Awesome. Have a good day. Refreshing. Pepsi, get it now! Oh man, I'm thirsty today. I wonder if there's anything here. Oh, huh, a perfectly good bang. I wonder why they call it that though. I mean, it's cotton candy. Whoa, that is good! Let's go, I got energy for day! Man, am I thirsty. I could go for a nice, refreshing soda right now. And oh, hey, how convenient. There's a Dr. Pepper right here with my name on it. I don't know how I got here, but I'm going to drink it anyway. I'm going to drink it. Ooh. Mm, 23 unique flavors in here. Wow, I am refreshed as ever. And I'm ready to get back to... Oh, hold on. Hello. You're who? Bob Jakowski? I don't know anyone named Bob Jakowski. You have a message for me. Okay, what's your message? Wait, what? Oh no, no, don't say the line! Don't say the line! No! What a hard day of school, man. If only there was just something, like some kind of sweet treat for me to snack on. Oh boy, let's see. Some berries, nah. Bunch of weird greens, water, too basic. Oh boy, would you look at that? An untouched peanut butter shake from Dairy Queen. It's just sitting in its lonesome self. I think I'm gonna drink it. That's the spoon. Welcome back to the NASCAR Amino Southern 200. Alan Gonson, Jack Black here in the booth with you calling the NASCAR Amino Southern 200. Well, right, Roberto Crown Jr. has the lead after KR ducked onto pit road while we were under the commercial break. This is one long and hard race for these cars and these drivers. We have just cleared 89 laps of the 147. We're down to 90. We're up to lap 90 of 147. So we have about... Doing the math, I believe we're going to have 57 when we go back green. That's still plenty of time. Um, plenty of time for a lot of cautions. To... 
Once again on the inside line, Ethan O'Connor and Jackson Traeger. This time, Roberto and Crown Jr. is going to have to try and hold front of Jackson. Reserve. All right, I do not know if Roberto Crown Jr. is going to get away from those lap cars. We've seen a mixed bag of restarts. It's either they get past the, the lap cars before they get to turn one, or they somehow, or the lap cars actually somehow put up a fight for a little bit before they finally surrender. All righty. Here right, we come back out of four. Green flag is in the air again here in Darlington. And out of turn number two, Roberto Crown is going to have a lead over Star Racer, who's in second. He's been quietly advancing through the field this entire race. And Star Racer's really turned up the heat since Knoxville. So he's making a case to be, one of, to be the turnaround driver of the year. This is huge for Star Racer. He's a star racer. He's had a lot of momentum since Nashville. And how long will it take before Star Racer can win in the ADPS? Well, it was actually Maxfield when he started getting it. But Star Racer is, is trying to score Dodge. He's the first win in the ADPS competition to this point. Chevrolet has won multiple races. Ford has won multiple races. Ford has won multiple races. And Dodge is still out. And how fitting it would be for Star Racer to get Dodge's first win at a Crown Jewel event. That would be really awesome, but I don't know if Star Racer's going to be able to pull it up as they roll back to turn one. Nose to tail here on lap 94 of 147. Meanwhile, bottle cars back here. Tristan Beasel, Simon Black, and Yeager all battling for a position. When Yeager rocking the petty throwback from 1967. And meanwhile, here's Star Racer looking to the inside of Roberto Crown Jr. Is he going to go for the lead here? Sure. And does he? No, he cannot get the runoff four. And Roberto Crown hangs on to the lead once again. Back to turn one here on lap 95. This has been a very entertaining race. as we've been with you last noon. And... There. He's all over the back bumper. Can he make the pass? He cannot. Three... And look at Kylie Greider. Well, Kylie Greider just sitting in tents right now. Meanwhile, our top two nose to tail. Now let's see if we can go back to this bog of cars here. Thank you very much. As we follow around Kylie Greider, who's getting by Max Muriel for ninth. Big G now in the middle, now in the back, in the last spot of the top ten. Out in front, there's our lead duo. It's tightening up again. They roll. Star Racer time a good run. 97 laps on the board. Pass as he can. Very soon we will have 40 to go in just 10 laps. But for but right now we gotta focus on getting the 50 to go first. They roll into turns three and four. Off four. Headed down the front stretch. There's still nose to tail. How close is it? 0.13 seconds. Star Racer's there. He's looking to the inside. Can he get there? On board with the 84. If he can take the lead, the crowd's going to go ballistic. Roberto Crown running really close to the outside wall here. Out of, his, out of turn two, and here we go down the back. The Crown's trying to bend that inside. That. The crowd over the engine. Oh, Crown tapped the wall a little bit out of two. It's not going to do anything, though. 
not too much of a not too much of an effect here. Star Racer Knight looking to the inside. He's setting up for the pass. Gets back in line. He's in line. He's on his back bumper. 99 down. Next time by, it will be lap 101, which means we will have completed 100 laps, and we will have 40 to go. So I was way off. By like 10 laps. Star Racer hanging with him. Going to the Larson line here, going upstairs. He keeps it off the wall somehow. 40 to go for Roberto Crown Jr. Roberto. Roberto going near the wall. Has to keep it off the wall. I don't so. like how close he's, he's getting. He's getting really close there. It, Too close. Well, it, Black brush and hits the wall in the back. It looked like Roberto Crown is tapping the wall out of two every single time. And somehow not right getting us any damage out of it. My apologies for talking over you, but Kylie Ryder was an eighth, and here's our lead battle once again. Roberto Both Crown. of them riding the Larson line. They keep it off the wall. R Roberto is staying further away from the wall this time. Star Racer setting up for a passer, it looks like. He's, He's trying, trying to get, to get that run inside. perfectly timed out of turn four. They are nose to tail. Dylan Jones washes up the racetrack. Lindsay D's trying to get back inside the top ten. Is she going to do it? Meanwhile, Kylie Greider. Is eighth. Is in the top ten. Here's Star Racer once again all over the back bumper of Robert Ooh. Friel. He's on his bumper. Trying to pressure Roberto into a mistake. The only thing that will save Roberto now is a caution. If no caution comes out, then he's in trouble because Star Racer has a really fast hot rod. And a hundred and two. Laps down. Roberto, down. Roberto oh. into the wall. Star Racer Star Racer's didn't get by. Star Racer's got it made. Star Racer to believe this crowd is going insane. Crowd jumping up and down, losing their lines, going ballistic. Star Racer of turn four. He'll lead his first official lap as he comes across the stripe. Lap 103. Star Racer looks on. 104 laps. Here the they car and I'm out Roberto now Sale. for Star Racer. If Star Ra if it keeps going green, Star Racer has a huge chance of winning this race. Not hurt. Let's try this again. Top five right now is Dodge, Ford, Toyota, Dodge, Chevrolet, Quinn Yeager, rounded by Simon Black for fifth. Still green, lap 105 on the board. Now we're going to begin lap 106. 105 laps are under. Are, on the, are in the books. Lap 106 on the board. 42 to go here in the NASCAR Amino Southern 200. Star Racer trying to put this one to bed. There are cars closing in on the top two. That's Demo Red Nick and Tristan has Beasel. to get away. Tristan Beasel, Rockin' Truex Jr.'s 2019 Coca-Cola 600 race winning car. They're back to turn one as Star Racer leads the way in his Jimmy Johnson throwback. Once they complete... The wall. Beasel in the wall! Once the they complete... Once they complete this lap, we will have 40, 40 laps to go. Okay, so I was right. No, I am stupid. My name is Alan Gonson. I'm stupid. Star Racer. Camel Red Kylie Grider's going after Quinn Yeager for position number five. So a battle for the fifth spot. He's on the long, he's on the boards. Battle for seventh on the board. Ever since Star Racer. And look who's coming back. It's Dylan Jones. Simon Black in the wall and, and being on the back of your screen. Dylan Jones and Simon Black. We have not 
those two names in quite some time in this race since the very early laps when Dylan Jones was dominating. The star racer up front getting caught by Demo Redneck. Kylie Grider up to six, by the way, on the leaderboard. Kylie Grider up to six as cautions out on lap 109. No! And Star Racer has probably got to probably put his hand on his helmet and say, You've got to be kidding me. But for everyone else, it's going to be a breather. And guess where oh. it is again? Our personal on the back straight away. Derby spot. The back straight away. Yay, my personal favorite. So let's see mm. it's what a everyone's strategy breather. is going to be. That was, one of, that was a decently long green flag run. Man, they were clicking off last, but what they weren't going by in a hurry, I'll tell you that. Bristol, this is not. So we're going to take advantage of this and remind you that our next race for the ADPS is going to be North Wilkesboro. Uh, date and time to be determined. North Wilkesboro is going to be one hell of a racetrack. North Wilkesboro, a tiny little short track. And once again, all drivers in that race will be sporting their throwbacks if they have them. And North Wilkesboro is in North Carolina as well. It is one of the shorter and tracks on the schedule. And this, I believe, is caution number six on the night. Yes, it is. Caution okay. six. So let's see what brought out caution number six on the night, and hope to God it's our last caution. So KR. Oh, Mooch is in the wall. He, oh, KR came up into Mooch. And then, oh, around he goes after he makes contact with the old five of Ryan Smith. And there's the curse they were talking about. And the commentator's curse also kicked in. I will be retiring effective after Homestead. <laughs> Watch again. <laughs> Mooch in the wall. And then KR comes up into Mooch. And then he hits the old five and just goes around. This race is one of the most entertaining races I've seen. Mooch in yeah. the wall. Yep. comes up and... Too late, Ryan Smith. You're, you've already hit Ryan Smith. I bet his spot. I bet Ryan Smith was was is screaming, "Not clear, jackass!" to his spotter. Probably in in reference to KR. On board with Ian Stones. I'm interested in the 86 times for 47 and all. No, he didn't. Oh, that was close. Oh, he almost got involved in it. Being a driver myself, seeing a car sideways in front of you in your windshield, you're inside your head. You are not saying it on the radio, but you were like, please get out of the way. I do not want to hit you. Yep.
Welcome back to the NASCAR Amino Southern 200. Alan Gonson and Jack Black here in the booth. Calling this race. Lights about to go out here on lap 113 of 147. So on that note, we are down to our final 35 laps. Star Racer and Demo Redneck will lead us to the green on the or in a single file restart. Star Racer has the 25 or 90, no sign of the 27 or 95, I should say. They when might have will they decide to park it and call it a day? Oh no, there's the 95 oh, and there they, there's the 27. They both are. Oh, I, I, I was thinking they called it after that. I thought they were gonna call it. Well, I was not going to say anything. 34 to go when we go back green. Your mind, what's, what's the driver's mindset with 34 laps to go? It's all down to whoever has the faster car now. So it's basically... Strategy has gone out the window. <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. If you need to pit, pit under whatever caution you have to have enough time to get up through the field. And win this race. All right, pace car's going to duck back onto pit row. 34 laps to go. When we go back, Green Star Racer's got to try and beat Demo Redneck to this checkered flag. But again, 34 laps. And between us and finding out what's going to happen there. Green flag back in the air. Racing in Darlington again. Here we go. Star Racer having trouble clearing Traeger down into turn number one. This is... That's not going to be good news for him. They're still side by side. Star Racer almost in the wall. Now Demo Redneck is side by side with Traeger. This is what Star Racer wants to see. As he can try to start pulling away, it won't work. Here goes Roberto Crown to the outside as well. But it but that also will not work. Demo Redneck by Jackson Traeger a lot faster. Star Racer pulling away from Demo Redneck, but not by much. Stars in the wall, hard. There goes Redneck. Back to the lead. Star Racer is in the wall again. There's another car. I think that's Ian Styles also in the wall. And remember, Ro and remember, Roberto Crown is also is also lurking in third as well. He can take this race. Not good for Star he's Racer. To third, it looks like. Yeah, he's to third. Grider and Deeds back together here as we Grider see that. They've been, they've, those two have put on a fantastic show whenever they've been around each other. Fantastic clean racing. That's what I want to see. Well, here they come. Back to turn number three. Kylie Grider chasing down Quinn Yeager. That is for position number five. I wanted to see the demo. Now she does the slide job. Crosses over to the inside. I actually wanted to see the number 99 and a Carl Edwards throwback. Oh, that would have been, been cool. Here's Lindsay Deeds as Kylie Brayer sees the inside. Lindsay is setting her up. Goes to the outside. Does she have to run? The answer is not quite. And they'll go back to three. To the outside. Now she goes to the outside. Way he eats up the, the track outside. a little bit. Lindsay Dietz. Oh, and by the way, we run. Oh, there goes the, uh, the 29 up into the wall. Not the 43. 
herself in the wall. Being chased by PQ guy Dylan Jones and Nate Wines to run out the top 10. How has the 29 stayed in front of Grider? I have no idea, but I don't think he's going to stay there for long. Meanwhile, PQ guy Lindsay Gates battling for a position. As Star Racers have been able to maintain third. We have ticked off 120 laps. He's there. Crown over to the wall a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's definitely oh Crown is really under the wall now. Oh, and look at Diesel in the third. So the two Dodges move into second and third. And here's Kylie Grider trying to catch Roberto Crown for fourth. So Star Racer jumps back on the twenty nine for fifth. Oh, PQ guy's going to try and go around Quinn Yeager. Yeager stand near the wall side by side for that position. And I think... Uh, sorry about that. And I think PQ guy is gonna get the spot. No, he does not get the spot. He'll stay in eighth. Quinn Yeager will stick. Will roll around in seventh. Battle for our top two spot. There's Kylie Ryder and Dust and Lindsey Dees. I wasn't Dustin again. Jesus Christ, I'm so used to the alias. I was so used to the alias that sometimes it, it just comes out. On board with Star Racer. Now on board with Tristan Weasel as he watches the lead battle shape up between the Redneck and Star Racer. But he's gonna get out of the run on Star Racer. It's not gonna work. Notice how close these guys are getting the wall. They are leaving out of the turns. These guys are now leaving about half a lane up to the wall just for insurance if they do slide up the track. And so did Beasel, but Beasel managed to control it as well as Star Race. Nice, nice car control from these two drivers behind Devil Redneck. These two are trying to force Redneck into a mistake Beasel so they can the capitalize. Track. And Beasel will have to check up as he slides up the racetrack a little and bit more. We are down to 125 laps on, off the board, 126 on. We are 125 laps into this race. Oh, Star Racer looked to the inside. He wasn't going to quite get there. 20 to go. And here well, he comes into turn number three. He also won't get there. You know what I mean? Uh, Four. Going to be 20 to go when we, when, we come, when we get to lap 128. But for now, we're down to 21 to go. Here in the NASCAR. And this crowd is insane. Right now, they are going nuts for the entire field. Lots of battles going on. The top three is one of the biggest that we've seen all day. Oh, Beasel slid up the track. That's going to open up the gap a little bit more from Star Racer to Beasel. Twenty. Laps to go from Darlington. Beastle now looking to the inside on Star Racer. He's going to not get there. This race has been exciting. Everything of what a race should be in my eyes. This race had everything you could ever ask for, and guess who's climbing through the ranks? If I'm the top three, I would want, not want to look in my rearview mirror because that Eric McClure throwback of Lindsay Deeds is a coming. And she's a rocket ship on rails. Let's see how far back she is right now. She's about 1.8, no, 1.9 seconds back from the leader. And you can see in the on the right side of your screen there she was. Lindsay is closing the gap. Will she have enough time? 
Well, we got 17 to go. Oh, Star Racer into the wall again. This is not going to help him out. Tristan Diesel almost making contact. It won't happen. And look at Lindsay Dietz. He's clo she's closed. Yeah. Point two. One point oh one point oh four seconds from the leader of Demo Red the Star Racer. Fifteen to go. Then, and Lindsay Dietz has caught Star Racer, Lindsay has caught Star Racer for PQ third. PQ guy, guy getting around Roberto Crown. That's for fifth, Rupert, Demo Rednick, PQ guy. Oh, there goes Lindsay Dietz to the inside. Is she going to get there? Oh, she's there, all right. Is she going to get the spot? Barely does. Yes, set the line. Barely got it at the line. Lindsay Dietz once again a, a woman on a mission. She's and she's clear. To, she's trying to do what no Not quite yet. ADPS Star's trying to put up a fight. Races. Let's see if Beazle's going to put up a fight for Redneck to get dodged their first win. Crowd on their feet once again as our top duo goes across the stripe. Now down to 13 laps to go. Beazle to the inside. But he can't get the run. And every attempt he makes, it opens... The oh, look at Lindsay Dietz. He's catching B. She's catching Beasel now. Yeah, I was about to... For every time... For every attempt that Beasel's made at trying to close up on Demo Redneck, it's let Lindsay Dietz catch him, and she is going to try and write ADPS history as the first female driver to win two ADPS races. Well, she's on the inside line, and Beasel's going to take advantage of that and capitalize and try and run away. So Lindsay Dietz has her work cut out for her in the final 12 laps. Gonna be 11 when they get across the stripe. And out of four, here they come. 11 laps left in Darlington. And Alan Mooch rounds out the top 10, but you can't see him because he's ways, ways back. So even if he he's about the, six and a half seconds back now from the leaders. Eight lines is gonna be running. Oh! Right Beasel under the wall. wall! Beasel under the wall again! Smoke down the back stretch. I'm not sure what happened there. I would love to find Will the happened. caution come? No, it does not look like the caution. No is caution! And we're getting a replay of what happened. Oh my goodness, it was a spinner. Hard hit into the inside wall. No caution for that. ADPS officials. Okay, fine. You do you. He's like up in the third, by the way. Lindsay needs. Did you guys in third chasing down Miss Lindsay Dee. Trying to go after her teammate, Demo Redneck. There is no word on what Lindsay Dietz is going to do next season. And once again, that's... Ten to go, by the way. Stripe. Oh, ten to go this time by. Going to be nine to go when they get across the stripe. Crowd once again on their feet. If PQ guy can win this race, he'll be the oldest driver to win in ADPS history. All the, all the drivers in the ADPS are in their teens to 20s. PQ guy is 41. Off turn number two. Smoke clears up. Are we going to get a replay on that? Oh, we did get a replay. We just watched it. I didn't see it. Well, on board with Lindsay Dietz, and she goes for the lead. She's on the inside. Dietz to the inside of Demo Redneck. And crowd on their hands. Crowd, crowd on their feet. She did for maybe a lap or so. And then Kylie Grider took it back and there's Demo Redneck side by side. Oh, 
Three inside once more. Inside, ten laps to go. DQ guy pushing. Lindsay Dietz to her limits. Here they come. Of lap traffic is going to play a role in this race. Oh, that's going to be huge for Lindsay and the others behind her if, if Dem gets caught up. And it looks like he is. Here comes Lindsay. Demo to the inside. He's gonna clear the demo redneck with ease. And here comes Lindsay Nates clearing Marinelli. Eric Marinelli back in the wall. He did get the courtesy flag. Oh, he's loose. He nearly lost it. He was able to straighten it out. And no star race from the wall. Doors open. Battle for a second. Could potentially be the battle for the win. Demo Less than five to go. Coming to four to the line. At the line. Four laps to go. There's Dietz to the inside. DQ guy on the outside, upstairs, way upstairs. He's in the wall, hard, brushing, riding up against the wall. He, keep, he gets off the wall, I, but what, what is the damage done? 34. I don't think the 34 is going to be able to win it now. He might have a chance, but he's going to have to throw a prayer up. And here comes Ethan O'Connor. They're going to catch Ethan O'Connor. Demo Redneck leading. Two. Oh, there's Ethan O'Connor again. Oh, there's the men. Three lap cars. Three laps to go. Lindsey Deets has a chance. Two to go. Two to go in Darlington. Oh, boy. Oh, there's, there's Deets. And there's PQ Guy. As well on the outside of Deets. Oh, this is going to be a big battle. Three car battle to the finish. One more time around. Lindsay Deets trying to get the lead. He's clear. Lindsay Deets leads in Darlington into turn one for the final time. Down the back for the final time. Lindsay Deets through three and four. Out of four, Lindsay Deets is going to win at Darlington. This crowd. Congrats. Congrats to Lindsay Dietz for winning here in Darlington for the Amino Southern 200. And with that <laughs> I, I cannot English, right? Anyway, and she becomes the first female driver to win two races in this on, in ADPS history. And this also puts her 36 points behind our points leader, Nate Wines. 
And there she gets the checkered flag, and she's going to begin the burnout. Here she goes! Here she goes! Lindsay Keats, your winner from Norlington. She better put on a smoke show, because this is a monumental win. And she hits the wall on the inside. I mean, she kept that part very clean throughout the entire race. Why not let her tear it up? Our notes this year will transfer for next year as well. Lindsay Deets. Lindsay Deets having herself a good time out there. On the, out there at, on the racetrack as she burns it down, celebrating her big win. And she says, bow to the queen of the ADPS. I'm sure Kylie Greider and Lindsay Deets will be celebrating that. Oh, without a doubt. While the two. The only two female drivers. Actually, no, no correction. Actually, she was the first female driver to win in the ADP as she won in Las Vegas. Therefore, Lindsay Deeds, Ashley Tate, and Kylie Ryder are the only three female drivers to win in the ADP. Yes. They're both These. Alright, Jack Black, I gotta thank you for joining me at the boys, man. It was a fun time to call this race with you. Even though we thank you. Said we were talking over each other. Thank you. Thank you, Alan, for letting me join you up in the booth. Huge performance. I mean, a huge performance deserves a huge burnout like that. Oh, there it goes. And it's gone. Thank you guys for watching. Here are the NASCAR Middle Southern 200 race results and the point standings with now five races to go in the ADPS season.